Hey, this is Terratutes with a quick introduction to shading a mountain in Terragen 4. This video picks up from the previous tutorial, where we built and eroded the underlying terrain for our mountain. In this video, we'll cover adding shaders and populations to create this mountain scene. The first thing we're going to do is come to the Shaders tab and take a look at our base color shader. In the Color tab, let's come to the High Color and darken this down a bit to give our mountain a deep base color. Next, we're going to add two gray layers to give our stone a little bit more variety. Let's add a surface layer and call this first one Dark Gray and bring the color down to 0.05. We'll also drop the coverage down to 0.3 so that our base colors will show through. And I'm going to set the fractal breakup to 0.28. I'm going to add a minimum altitude constraint so that this color appears only on the mountain. Let's also add a slope constraint so that this gray appears only on steeper slopes. Our next gray is going to be similar to the first but a bit lighter. We'll set the color to 0.2. We'll again adjust the coverage down, this time to 0.25. And on this one, we're going to bring the fractal breakup up to 0.9. I want this color to appear only on the shallower slopes, so we'll add a maximum slope constraint of 40 degrees with a 20 degree fuzzy zone. Next, we'll add a dirt layer. I'm going to give this a nice brown color. And to add some more variety to this color layer, let's create a new power fractal layer as a color function. Go into the power fractal, and we'll set the feature scale to 1000. And in the color tab, we'll apply low color, and bring that up to about 0.23 to reduce the contrast. Back in the dirt layer, we'll bring the fractal breakup to about 0.75, and I only want the dirt to reach partway up the mountain, so we'll add a maximum altitude constraint of 1000 with a 500 meter fuzzy zone. We'll also add a maximum slope constraint of 40 degrees with a 10 degree fuzzy zone. Next, we'll add a frost layer. This will go underneath our main snow layer and give the appearance that the top of the mountain has recently received a light frost. I'm going to directly add a power fractal shader here, and set the feature scale to 1 and the noise stretch to 5. In the color tab, we'll check apply high color, and set that to about 0.68. I'll check apply displacement, and change the noise flavor to Perlin ridges. We only want this to cover the top part of the mountain, so I'm going to mask by shader and create a new distribution shader. Come into the new shader, and we'll use this to change the coverage to about 0.8, and limit the minimum altitude to 2000 with a 200 meter fuzzy zone. I'll also limit the minimum slope to 30 degrees with a 10 degree fuzzy zone, so that this primarily shows up on the ridges. Next, we'll add our main snow layer. Lighten the color of the surface layer to about 0 0.85, and we're going to limit the minimum and maximum altitude of this layer. The maximum will be 3000 meters, with a 500 meter fuzzy zone and the minimum is going to be 50 meters. With a 500 meter fuzzy zone. We don't want snow on the steep cliffs, so we'll limit the maximum slope to 60 degrees with a 10 degree fuzzy zone. Finally, go to the Effects tab and check Intersect Underline and change it to Favor Depressions. This will make it look more like the snow is filling in the cracks in the terrain underneath. 
Next, we're going to add a couple of grass shaders to the base of the mountain. Let's go ahead and bring in another surface layer. We'll call this one Grass 1. This first one will be a darker green. We're going to bring the coverage down to 75% and bring the breakup down a little bit as well. We'll constrain the altitude to a maximum of 500 meters with a 200 meter fuzzy zone and set a maximum slope of 40 degrees with a 20 degree fuzzy zone. The next grass layer we'll call grass 2 and this one's going to be more yellow. I'm going to bring the coverage down quite a bit more, down to about 20%. And we're going to increase the fractal breakup so this will be a little bit more scattered throughout the terrain. Again, we're going to put an altitude limit of 500 meters and a slope constraint of 30 degrees on this one. The final thing we're going to do is add a population of pine trees around the base of the mountain. First, we'll go into the Objects tab, Add Object, Population, and bring in a population of medium-sized pine trees. Let's zoom the camera out to get a better view. And move the center of the population to the base of the mountain here. We'll also rotate and scale it to align it with the area we want to cover. I'll set the object spacing to 6 and the variation to 2. Now one of the most important things we're going to do is mask the population by a new distribution shader. Let's go into the distribution shader here and use it to limit the tree's altitude between 800 meters and 25 meters, as well as limit the slope to 30 degrees. I'm also going to check the smoother fuzzy zones box. Head back to the population and make sure to clip to camera so we don't generate unnecessary instances. Finally, let's play with the scale a little bit. This mountain is actually gigantic, but I want to be able to see the individual trees. So let's bring the minimum scale up to 2.5 and the maximum to 3. Head back to the render camera view and now we can populate. Let's go ahead and bring the lighting around. and do a test render. There's still a lot of work to be done, but at this point the mountain itself is coming along pretty well. A little more work on the foreground, sky, and lighting, and you'll be well on the way to a basic but pretty decent mountain scene.